Hi there, my name is Mark Hamilton Taylor. Now here's some, some interesting facts. This is actually a pound of fat. One pound of fat. This is what it looks like, this is what it feels like, and this is what's in our body. So when we're a couple of extra pounds and we're struggling to lose them, that's what's going around our bodies. Now, the reason that's going around our bodies is we need fat. Now don't get me wrong, there's certain good fats that we can have and there's certain bad fats, but the reason most people are obese or overweight is because it's over acidity. They're not over fat, they're over acidic. And even if they go to the gym, they work out really hard at the gym, or they follow a routine and they can't shed those extra pounds. Or if they've gone on that diet, they still get those extra pounds back on. It's because they're over acidic. And what that means is the body stores fat to keep the vital organs away from acidity because acidity will burn through our vital organs and really affect them. So what we need to do is increase our alkalines. Now basically, there's, there's quite a few things out there about the five a day, the NHS actually do quite a few good leaflets, but what do those leaflets actually mean and can we trust all of that information? Well, we can in majority trust most of that information because that is good information. Five a day and what's that all about? Well, what it actually means, you do need five portions of vegetables and you do need five portions of fruit or a mixture of it throughout the day. Probably, if you stay towards the more greener vegetables, you're going to increase your alkalinity. I'm going to go through that on lists of what's good and what's not further on in our mentoring or our coaching or, or at one of our um, weight loss sessions. If you want to come to them, you can email us and get the details later on. But let's get back to acidity. There's, uh, in front of us now, there's a pH scale, and it goes from zero, which is real high acidity, which will burn through steel, to a high alkalinity of 14. Our pH scale basically goes from 1 to 14. We want, ideally, we want to be just to the right of the centre, which is about 7.5. If we're over alkaline, cancer can't grow, the cells can't uh, mutate and grow in an alkaline environment. If we're actually slightly over alkaline, you actually can lose up to a pound a day, just naturally because your body starts removing the acidity, which then starts eating away at the fat. So basically going back to why we get over, overweight is because we're over acidic. And if you want more information on that, please email me and we can either do one-on-one -on -one sessions or we can actually do groups and we do groups in the area which are working very successfully. I'm going to give you one quick testimonial. Um, from, from a lady called Pat Barber, she, she's put on her testimonial, Mark saved my life. I was an alcoholic for 15 years and I was a size 16. Within three months I went from a size 16 to a size 10 following this program and I've also been life coached by him to now not drink alcohol, I've been dry for nine months. So there's some quite hard hitting facts we can get to and that's quite an extreme version. But we can get to them, even if people just want to shed those extra few pounds, or even just want to feel more energy, get more energy, feel a little bit more alive, and not feel so sluggish, because it's all about the acidity slowing us down. And when, I, when I'm talking about that, it's our blood turns into slight, slightly glue-like um, substance. Our blood should be nice, free, easy running, and our cells should be bouncing off each other. Our blood cells, they should have a negative charge, and unfortunately, when we're over acidic, the charges are less negative, the blood becomes sticky, and that's why one in, th sorry, every three minutes someone's diagnosed with diabetes. Now, I can prove with all the scientific research that I've got to back me up on this, that 99% of all diseases, obesity, the overweight, the lack of energy, is the lifestyle driven, and if you want to change it, you can.